Hey guys, this is Manifesting Better and I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in my description box. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Today's video will also follow the theme that I have been following since the past few videos. The theme of why changing yourself is so essential and how you can change yourself. If you check out my last two three videos all they talk about is how you can change yourself and this video i'm going to be talking about why changing yourself is so important so let me ask you a question there are many things in life that you have right now right you might have a car you might have someone who loves you you might have a friend you might have a house you might get food to eat on a daily basis things that just naturally come to you right you might have a pair of shoes that you have you might have some clothes that you wear you might ha- get to shower every day but you don't affirm for these things you don't affirm for these things to come into your life you don't sit down and make an affirmation for it and you know sit down and affirm for it these things come naturally to you because you are a person for whom these things are achievable and it is a normal day to day life occurrence for you to have these things see the whole point of manifesting anything the whole point of manifesting a person the whole point of manifesting money is to become that person for whom these things having these things is a normal and natural occurrence for whom they don't have to constantly affirm to get that money they don't have to constantly affirm for that person to be with them that person naturally is drawn towards them money is naturally drawn towards them because they are now a person for whom having that amount of money is a very normal thing it's not something big that is why for these people and for you too with the things that you have coming into your life automatically the manifestations become automatic the manifestations happen in its own way and it's very effortless when it's normal for me to have something it's effortlessly coming to me let's say for you right now having food on a daily basis is normal you don't think about where the food will come from you don't think about how you will get bread you just get bread you know that when you wake up in the morning you will have bread even if you won't have it you will go and buy it right you will if you know that at the end of the day you will have a bed to sleep in even if you have a bad day even if some coworker says something bad to you or even if you have a fight with your person you will still have a bed at the end of the day because that is an automatic thing for you that is a not natural normal thing for you i see this see i see this happen with clients a lot they they do affirmations they do a lot of affirmations they do affirmations obsessively and they do see results they do see some results but there are two things that happen there that is very very alarming one it starts this whole cycle of mental pressure and anxiety that i have to constantly affirm to get something that i have to and no no hate against this method if it works for you and you are in a peaceful state do it but if this method is harming your mental peace if this method is harming your calmness and your it's giving you anxiety then there is no point of doing that then there is no point of putting yourself through that because the state of being behind it is what matters because usually when we are obsessively affirming it's coming from a state of lack and it's coming from a state of trying to try, you know see if these manifestations can fix your insecurities if these manifestations can soothe your insecurities rather than working on these insecurities in at the first like in the first place and this is where the hot and cold stems from because even if you get it even if you get the movement it's still a big deal for you it's still outside of your natural zone it's still not achievable to you you don't see yourself as a person for whom it is natural for you to have and that is why it keeps going up and down because that thing is now your master because when that thing does something to you when money is showing up or not showing up when that person is texting you or not texting you your emotions are being driven by that you are also going up and down based on that so that thing is now your creator that thing is the thing that is going to control you now you are not because if i am the creator then i am in charge 
but if that thing is controlling me then that thing is in charge the whole process of manifesting is about changing you that's what neville said that's what every teacher said change yourself work on yourself no one to change but yourself why because when you change yourself there are things that you want that automatically come to you you don't have to fight for them anymore you don't have to affirm for long hours for them anymore you just have to stay and let these things come to you like that cup of coffee you get like that parking space you get these things are coming naturally to you because you think of these things as small right the whole point of manifesting is to get consistent results it's not to get money once it's not to not for your person to come and tell you they love you and then go away it's for them to stay it's for that money to keep coming in right please don't forget and please don't make techniques the basis of everything techniques are just a tool you are the thing you are the magic basically you are the creator it's not the technique that is creating your intent behind it the way that you do it is what is creating that's why 10 people can do the same techniques and only three of them might see results because the basis of uh, the results is based on what that what the state of being behind it is and yes you can be desperate and somehow still get results but why would you want to be desperate that's the first thing and the second thing is they are never lasting when you are in that state it will come back even if you somehow get something out of it you will constantly be in that state of anxiety and you will constantly be in that state of feeling like an imposter because you will always think that this thing is not supposed to be with me because why would it be with me right i it's not natural for me to have it that is why you are always afraid if it will go away you are not afraid if your bed will go away you are not afraid you will not have water to drink tomorrow because you think of these things as normal and i'm not giving you so low examples just to you know just just to just to give them to you i'm just telling you because it will be easier for me to explain with these it's not the water it's not because the water is not important it's actually like you cannot live without it but because you think of it as something abundant that is why it's very very easily and readily available to you right please try to understand this that yes you can get these things without working on yourself but they will not last and if that is your definition of results then my definition of results and your definition of results is something different because my definition of results is waking up every morning and knowing that no matter what circumstances in front of me i can handle it and i will handle it because it's my responsibility to handle it because it's my because everything is reflecting me and all i have to do is change myself my responsibility is my mental place my responsibility is not the physical world it is just a reflection and until i keep until i change my inner world how can the reflection change just just think about it very very carefully results can happen at any point of time results can happen when you change results happen very quickly when you change results are bound to happen when you change just as every morning you are going you are bound to see the sun come up but the change has to be you the change needs to be consistent the change needs to there needs to there has to be a decision for you to change first there has to be a, you have to first take a decision that i have to change i don't want that short term thing because why deal with that heartbreak again why do it in a way that it comes and it goes away again what's the point of that i really really intend that this video helps you and i'm really really looking forward for you guys to actually apply this in your life see you in the next video